It's really easy to do Maricopa County rational method calculations using DDMSW if you're willing to look up the location of your project on their precipitation maps. And to do that, you'll need to know the location of your project in a particular township. Here's an explanation of the U.S. Public Land Survey system. We've got a section, and you'll know where your project is in a section, and then that section belongs to a township. And for our tutorial, we'll just assume that we're in section one of township one north, range one east, and that will be easy to remember. Find DDMSW on the web, and here I've landed on a DDMSW page, and so all I need to do is get their latest version. Then start DDMSW and start a new project. So we'll say add a hydrology and hydraulics project. All right, we're not going to use HEC 1, we're going to use the rational method and I'm going to use a five minute minimum TC instead of 10 and I'll save the project. All right, we'll save the rainfall for last because it's the hardest part and all we need to do is add ourselves a subbasin, add subbasin one, enter its area, 10 acres, 1,000 feet long. It has a rise, let's say it's from 1210 elevation to 1200 elevation. And then I save, it calculates the slope for me. And I can't update because I don't have a runoff coefficient yet. To get runoff coefficient, I just click OK go to land use and I say add some land use and I say for subbasin one all my land so I'll put all 10 acres is medium lot residential and the rat runoff coefficient will depend on that I just say save and I get all my runoff coefficients and I could have divided that up into different areas. Now it's time for rainfall. Okay. I say I want to do it manually, not using GIS, and I want to look at their maps. Now their maps are for the area of Maricopa County in a PDF, and they're arranged from the lower left to upper right, and they're numbered. So I've got to look for Township 1 North, Range 1 East. I've got 3 North, 2 North, 1 North, 5 East, 4 East, 2 East, 1 North, 1 East. Now where's my section in that thing? Well i got to go back to my little cheat sheet here. It was Section 1, so I'm in the right 6th and the top 6th. That's probably close enough depending on how my watershed looks. So, we go to the PDF, and we say, I'm right there. It says, I need to go to map 63. Now, I'm going to assume my watershed's coming from the north, so I'm on map 63. So, I'll go over here to my bookmarks and go to map 63. Okay, I'm on township 1 north one east. So there's two north, one east. Here am I. This is my section. So depending on where my 10 acres are, I can just use one of these squares or I can use several of them. Let's say I use 11, 12, 51, 52, 91, 92. So I'll go with pick map 63. from 1811 to 1812, tab 1812, and then we'll save, okay, let's add another one, 63 from 
1851 to 1852. Save that. Add another one from 1891 to 1892. Save that. So we've got 1112, 51, 52, 91, 92. Eh, close enough. We say okay. Well, let's say update. It will grab the values and it will input the uh, depths for various durations and frequencies. So we've got our rainfall. And we just go back to hydrology, go to sub basins, click update, and we should get our answers. Ta-da! There's our answer. Area length slope, Q2 year, Q10 year, Q100 year. And if we go to details, we can see what the time of concentration, the intensity, and all our input values were. All we need is a report. File, reports. Let's go to hydrology. Hydrology subbasins. And we should get a nice report. And that'll do. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you feel like it. Thank you.